You are recording. Thank you very much. We've got a quick meeting today. Uh, I My apologies. I don't see on the application. Well, let's just go through the order. Um, if you need to review any minutes from past meetings, those are provided on the recording recordings listed on the website for our airport development and operating committee. The same website, um, the same page off of the city page that you would find the webcam and all of the board information. So uh, we'll call the meeting to order at noon. And it looks like we have Bill present, present. Richard present. present, Jerry present, present. Uh, Stu is not here, but he may be signing on, but uh, we do have a quorum. And then we have a guest today. Ron yes, <laughs> Hi, Ron. Hello. And there's a, a guest present in the meeting room, Denise Sires. Oh, hi, Denise. How are you today? Yeah, okay. Okay. So do we have any uh, changes or denims to the agenda? Nope. I don't have any. Uh, Bill oh. says no. Are there any public comments? No public comment here. I haven't received any online. <clears throat> Okay, and we have no old business. We have new business. Uh, this is a review of a board member application, and this will be forwarded on to the. Uh, this will be forwarded on to the mayor for recommendation after we review. I'm going to pull up the application, but this is for Mr. Devore. Would you like to speak in regard to your application? Sure. Uh, if you scroll up to the top, I'm listed yes, as sir. Ron, Ron DeVore. I like to be called Ron, but uh, legally, okay. it's Ralph DeVore legally, if that makes a difference. I don't know. And as it says here, I've been, we built our house in 2006, so 17 years ago, we moved here. 2007, I think, after the house was built. I bought the lot in 1999. Uh, work experience. I, I, I retired from the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. I joined in 1968. I went through all the hoops. I worked patrol and detectives. And then uh, in the early 1980s, I was lucky enough to get assigned to Aero Bureau after amassing enough time uh, flying that uh, they would accept me. And I spent the last eight years of my career on the Sheriff's Department uh, flying patrol support, search and rescue support, uh, and I retired in 1989. Then I went to Spokane, moved to Spokane, and flew uh, for the for the uh, hospitals in uh, EMS work. And I did that until 2006, when I was just too old to fly anymore. I was, and I retired from flying. That's about it. Any questions? So, Ron, you were uh, saying before we started the meeting that you had about 10,000 hours? Just short of 10,000, yeah, 9,000 and change. Okay. I don't know. Seems to me like you're a pretty good addition to the uh, to the committee. Yeah, where it says uh, restaurant management there, I did manage uh, several restaurants during the uh the time that I was waiting for a job opening to come up in Spokane, I, I managed a couple of restaurants and learned enough to know that I didn't want to do that. 
Yeah. Doesn't take long. <laughs> we, do okay. we, we do occasionally get paint on our clothes. Yes. Yeah, paint. I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How when you... we go out there and we paint the runway, it's um it's kind of an interesting job. Oh, paint stains, okay. Yeah. It's a lot of black paint in between the white. And you know, I used, I used to uh have uh three Nomex flight suits that I did that were left over from my career. And uh, I use them to paint around the house, but I don't fit into those anymore. <laughs> okay, so uh, Richard, is that a motion to entertain moving this forward to the mayor for consideration? Sure, I'll make the motion. Oh, Jerry, okay. Do we have a second? I'll, sec I'll second it. Was that Richard? It's Bill. Bill, thank you, Bill. All right, is there any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any of those opposed? Anybody abstain? Okay, we will move this forward to the mayor for consideration, and at that time, uh, you will be notified by the clerk's office, Ron, whether he appoints you to the board or not, and then you would be sworn in at our next meeting. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, at this time, just so you are aware, we typically meet quarterly, but we are working on our Airport Appreciation Day, which we held annually, and you've been in the community for a long time, so you're probably aware, up until 2019, and then due to the pandemic and some changes within the membership of the board, we... Uh, we have not had an, an airport appreciation date since. And so we'd like to get that back up and running. And that is our next uh, order of business. We are, we held a, we held a meeting in December to satisfy the fourth quarter requirement, but we decided to move forward with monthly meetings for the time being. So that way, while we're planning this event, everyone is involved and uh, we just kind of stay on top of each each task that we have discussed. Uh, so for Airport Appreciation Day 2024, we have decided on August 24th. And forgive me, I don't have my notes in front of me. Did we decide on a time? Uh, was that 11 to 3 p.m.? We typically do about four hours out there. Yeah, I think 11 to 3 is a good time frame. I think we used to do earlier, Bill, and we just realized the fog didn't necessarily burn off in time, and it kind of gave people more time to get out here. Yeah. There are some fly-ins that occur on that same weekend. Uh, it, they seem pretty regular, so it it's kind of nice to be able to give people extra time to get moving around the state and we're hoping to make this a successful event i think we had a great turnout in 2019 we did um the rc flyers were out i will touch base with them we had a car show we had cotton candy and popcorn we had the um I want to say AWOS radio. That's not a ham ham radio group out. We had the radio station out. We didn't have much aircraft, but we're trying to get the word out early. So that's why we're starting planning in December. And Stu reached out to the VFW. They are working on hot dogs. So they will be um they will be selling hot dogs at the event. Last time we tried to get the booster club to be able to do that and that didn't pan out. So we didn't have any food concessions there, but we like to give back to where we can and kind of give the nonprofit some, some place to, to sling their product <laughs> and they are back in the hot dog business. So they did commit to the 24th. I will reach out to the beach boys car club and invite them again. And I've got it on the city calendar and I've got it on the calendar with the 
fire department and the police department so that hopefully they can bring in some of their equipment, um, the Humvee, uh, maybe the six by six, et cetera. Does anybody else have anything to add? Uh, North Beach Paws, have we reached out to them? What would we like to do with North Beach Paws? I have not. Yeah, came, one year they came out and they brought a they brought a couple dogs out with them and just so people could see what pets were available for adoption and what they did. They put together a little display. Are you volunteering to reach out to North Beach Paws? I'll call them. Yeah, I think uh, it's, yeah, I, I, I know a fellow yeah. with uh, Ed Duncan who has the local car museum. Uh, I could ask him if he uh, wants to show up with one of his uh, uh, antique cars. He has quite a collection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll assign that one to my wife. She's sitting across from me now. <laughs> oh, In an unofficial capacity. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I believe at our last meeting, I volunteered to do the safety plan. So yes, that's, sir. That's still on my agenda. Um, I'll send you an email about getting cones from Public Works and stuff like that. So that's okay. So, yeah. And well, I'm going to help with that. That's kind of a full plate. It sounds like to me on the safety plan. If 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 you wanted to delegate anything out on that, I'd certainly help you. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Well, for, uh, for pub public comment, Sarah, uh, uh, what is being planned in terms of publicity? For example, uh, you know, WPA has a uh, newsletter, newspaper that goes out and a, a digital version of that. Well, that's a good point. The, you know, because there's a lot of fly-ins listed in the uh, uh, Washington Pilots Association. And there's the FAT PNW, the flights around the Pacific Northwest. Uh, yes, and I'm working on getting that out to flight to FAT PNW. But yes. I have uh, the Washington Associate, um, Washington Aviation uh, Pilots Association. I'm yeah. sorry. WPA, Washington Pilots Association. WPA, thank you. Yeah. I can work on getting advertisement in. Yeah, they also uh, have features in there about Washington airports, and I've never seen us listed in there. And we have a nice airport. Yeah, we do, and a nice pilot's lounge. The group keeps it up, and we have a nice airport. You can sure see the center line. <laughs> and the numbers. Yeah. I drove yeah, in. It looks great. And, <laughs> and the segmented circle looks good. Those are some great visual uh, pictures that Bill got this last summer. I am actually working on this is this just discussion, but um, we took out the old cabinet and installed a new cabinet. So the IT uh, equipment is protected and under lock and key. And then I'm working on getting a fresh coat of paint into the pilot's lounge because I don't think it's been painted since it was constructed and working on get, moving some of that old furniture out. And I'm keeping my eye out in surplus to see if I can get a new chairs and tables. So, um, um, you will see some changes here and there. Do you guys know what the PVC pipe with the orange um, temporary fix fencing tied to it is? No. What, this is this in the pilot's lounge? Yes. It's it's like something that's just left behind in there. Yes, I'm going to get rid of it. I, I, it's, it's a hazard. It's cumbersome. Uh, I, I have no idea where it came from. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, no idea. Yeah, I, I think don't think all seeing it in there. I think that furniture in there came out of Jim Beats's grandmother's house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, there, there is some stuff 
Public Works has been quite busy over the last two weeks working on the erosion pro project, and uh, a lot of manpower has been gone has gone into um, getting that berm built up to protect city infrastructure. So I haven't wanted to trouble them to pick up that furniture, but I anticipate it being moved out. The table and chairs will stay for the time being, but all of the extra stuff will be removed. Um, new bookshelf has been put in there, et cetera. Anywho, I'm just moving forward on getting some of this stuff. Thank you. Freshened up. Our our poor our poor mop and bucket was probably as old as the building itself. So I got a new mop bucket and broom in there for our cleaning gal. And um, I just think that we need a, a nice fresh face to welcome people back in for Airport Appreciation Day. Well, thank you, Sarah. Little things like that do make a difference. Yes, and uh, last time I had some historical pictures of the airport printed and put on poster board. I'm working on moving those into frames and getting them put on the wall instead of posting the poster board up like I did last time with the displays. And cleaning up that bulletin board because it's quite inundated with information. Is that so a just bulletin board you know, outside? No, it is it is inside and it has uh shuttle information, business information, restaurant information. And then it we also have notices that we have to have posted because we accept federal funding and then my information, emergency contact information, and what we will actually see coming in on the right hand side now it are two separate. It will be about the same size, but it will be a locked bulletin board with the emergency contact information and the necessary notices for ADA compliance, et cetera, federal funding notifications in a locked side. And then we will still have an open bulletin board for people to post their business cards, et cetera. Okay. Is there anything else we would like to further discuss or um, move forward with for Airport Appreciation Day? I'm going to reach out to some of my EAA uh, friends and acquaintances and see if I can't get some people out with some of their uh, uh, experimental aircraft. It would be nice if we can get a Young Eagles group out there, but um, I'm not able to fly those anymore, so... I don't know if we can get people that could fly those or maybe somebody <clears throat> EAA knows somebody or they have a group. I don't know. What about your EAA group? Uh, Jerry, you're talking about John Martinson? Jerry? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having trouble hearing here. I can't get my volume turned up here, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, when you mentioned EAA, are you talking about John Martinson? Uh, no, I don't know anybody local. I don't, I don't know him. I was uh, uh, thinking about the Auburn group. Okay, yeah, John has the local um, Hoquiam Aberdeen EAA chapter, so I can uh, I can reach out to him and. Okay. Uh, Get some ideas from him. Yeah. Okay. And I'll 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 still talk to the to the guys up uh, around Auburn and uh, see if they want to come down too. Hey, honey. Yeah. What about Joel and the Shelton group? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that too. Yeah. The um, the Shelton uh, EAA chapter. Uh, I, I can get a hold of them as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's probably, I don't know how many there are around uh, Hoquiam, but there's probably a pretty good group in uh, in the Shelton area. So I think we've got a pretty good list here. What I'm going to do is compile it into a cohesive list, aside from the notes that I just took, and send it out next week. For us to review and kind of keep us on task. Okay. And 
what we can do now is uh, we want to keep up with these monthly meetings, I imagine, just while we're working through this event. Let me look at the calendar. And um, I'd like to make note on my calendar of any times that you are not available. So when I work with the city clerk's office to schedule the next meeting, I can tell her when we would not have a quorum. Does anybody know for February um, potential dates that you would not be available? Okay, if you think of anything, please email me and let me know. I will be out of the office on the 15th and 16th of February. My mother's having surgery, so I just need to, to go stay with her for recovery. So I'll be back in the office on the 20th. Bill's not available last week, the 26th through the 29th. Okay, I'll get that <laughs> on my that, calendar. Uh, yeah, Sarah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm not available February 6th. Okay. That looks like that's it. Yeah. Okay, I've made note. I'll touch base with Stu as well before we schedule something. Okay. Any, any any thoughts of inviting or letting the uh, Toledo Skydiving Club know we're having this appreciation? I don't know that with the uh, the traffic they'd want to be jumping there, but they might uh, want to come out in some capacity to to uh, promote their uh, their jump center. You are reading my mind, Jerry. When we were going through that list, I thought, you know, they came out this last year. I think it was actually the second year in a row that they came out. Um, I would like to have better coordination with that group moving forward. And now that I have direct contacts with those individuals, I think that we would be better, I'll be better planned for this next summer when they come out to their event, but I can certainly extend the invitation to them. Okay. Yeah. I think that'd be a, uh, a good, good idea. And so Sarah, my... it's, it's Sarah, Richard, here. you put out the no town for this, right? For the Airport Appreciation Day, yes, I sure yeah, do. Okay. But I'll make note of that on our list, just so we are aware that it will be covered. Okay. Because I was thinking about the RC flyers, uh, if they're going to actually fly their airplanes there. Um, yeah. Yeah. They should be issuing NOTAM. We've gone round and round with them um, anytime that they are flying at the facility. And I actually had a discussion with the NOTAM help desk in regard to that because I discussed it with the NOTAM help desk and then the RC flyers called and said they've never had a notice for RC flyers. And I said, under FAA regulation, they're actually considered a UAS, an unmanned aircraft. Uh, they don't call them drones or they don't call them um, remote control airplanes. So we need to make that make everyone aware for incoming pilots and flight traffic that there are unmanned aircraft at the facility or flying within the airspace. Okay. So if you as pilots notice that there are RC planes around or in our air in our uh, airfield, in our airspace, and you do not see a note, and please let me know. I think they I had a note from our last meeting that the RC flyers can fly there, but they have to monitor the um, uh, the um, Unicom. Yes, that is correct. But that does not omit their need to uh, issue a note. They're on a trial run to ensure that they're um, not for a year to ensure that they're not impeding activity at the airport. And I'm not necessarily sure that that's been an issue other than I've heard of two incidences where they've lost control of a remote aircraft and where they almost had a run in with an incoming airplane. And those were not report. Those incidents were not reported to me. 
Okay. So I've really tried to open up the line of communication with the RC flyers. And so if you happen to notice anything, please let me know. Anything else? You know, um, I know in the past, there's been some issues with people running their dogs out there and, and, uh, uh, and that, but I was looking the other day and I don't see any, uh, signage that, that says they can't, or should there be something, you know, if there's, I guess you want to put, you know, dogs must be unleashed because they shouldn't be walking around the airport anyway. So I, I don't know what you'd put out there, I guess. There is a sign at the foot gate that says there should there is no non that non aeronautical activities are not allowed on the facility and I have physically stopped and spoken to people about rock walking their dogs on the runway. Yeah. So oh, if okay. it's not I, an aeronautical, guess, yeah, that that sign would cover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I I reiterated I didn't say no dog walking but you know I I also imagine that list could get pretty extensive if I listed every activity not allowed. Right. Yeah, but we yeah. did have some children, uh, teenagers skateboarding. Look, I understand the appeal. It's got beautiful pavement, um, but I was very specific when it came to um, skateboarding. And I, I don't remember all of the activities listed, but I tried to to get a, a general a generalization of the activities not allowed. But it specifically says non aeronautical activities are not allowed. Uh -huh. Okay. But as a committee member, uh, feel free to educate those that are that you happen to see out there. I don't think it's as much of an issue as it used to be. No, I don't think so. I, I went out to talk to a guy riding his bike down the taxiways and out to the runway, but uh, he saw me walking toward him and scooted out. <laughs> before <laughs> they didn't stop to talk. Yeah, they can be wily. <laughs> okay, well, my tasks moving forward are compiling this list and getting it out to the committee. And uh, if you have any questions or want to add to the list, just feel free to respond to my email when I get it out next week. Uh, I'll be working with the city clerk's office to determine a date best available for the meeting room and her availability. Uh, her office is quite busy, but I'm grateful that Nicole has been able to take over this. She's over there in the corner monitoring the meeting and, and running the equipment. Um, she's in, she's from the city clerk's office. And with that, I think we can adjourn. I'll second that motion. <laughs> Are we adjourning by consensus? I don't think we technically need a vote, but we're good to go. Okay, okay. we're out of here. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Take care. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. See you Thank all. Thank you. Bye-bye.